iOS 16 takes messaging your loved ones to a whole new level. These iMessage hacks unlock the enormous potential of the Messages app so you can communicate in new and meaningful ways. Hey, oh, so, pay attention. So, sorry. Let's open the Messages app and tap on a conversation. Press and hold on the message you want to reply to, then tap reply, type in your response, send it over. Sorry, babe, recording a vid, can't talk now. In iOS 16, it's really easy to drag and drop messages from one conversation to another. First, press and hold on the message you want to send, then tap back to messages and drag it over to the conversation with the person you want to send it to. It also works for videos. Let's press and hold on that cute cat video, tap back to messages and drag it over to the person you want to send it to. He's gonna love that. When you don't have the time, or energy to respond to a message or messages. You can send a quick response using the tap back feature. Press and hold, heart emoji, works every time. But you're a great guy. You can't just respond with tap backs all the time. Let's send a message with some pizzazz. Mm, happy birthday, babe. Can't wait to see you later. You can press and hold on the send button to send an iMessage with effects. Did you know it also works for GIFs? Choose the sorry GIF, press and hold that send button and add a nice effect. If a GIF is worth a thousand words, how much is an audio message worth? Let's go back to our conversation with Stuart. To send an audio message, tap the blue wave icon and then press and hold on the microphone button to record. You know I did. Do you want to hang out tonight? And if you want to listen to a message privately, just hold your phone up to your ear. By default, audio messages expire after two minutes. Less evidence. If you prefer speaking your messages, iOS 16 takes dictation to a whole new level with auto punctuation. Tap the microphone in the lower right hand corner of the screen and say whatever you want. Sorry, babe, my boss is keeping me late. Hold the phone, there's a problem with your dictation. Oh, you're right. If only there was an easy way to fix it. There is, press and hold on the space bar to activate the cursor. Move the cursor precisely where you want it. Hey babe, my boss is letting me out early tonight. See you soon. When you're holding your coffee in one hand and your phone in the other, you can use the one-handed keyboard. Press and hold the emoji icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen and choose the left-handed or right-handed keyboard. Why are you taking so long to get back to me? It's like an hour between texts with you. Let's prove him wrong. You can swipe right to left to see which times messages were sent and received. It's been 10 minutes, LOL. You're right, I'm sorry. Sometimes you'll want to mark a message as unread just so you don't forget to get back to it later. With iOS 16, you can. How much food can one cat eat? In the Messages app, find a conversation, swipe left to right, then let go. Not doing that. Your significant other means the world to you. Show them how much you care by pinning their conversation to the top of the Messages app. To pin a message, press and hold in the conversation and drag it around the screen, then drag it to the top and let go. You can quickly share your location by typing I'm at with the space and then tapping current location. Allow once. The most important thing iOS 16 allows you to do is edit or unsend messages. It's especially useful when you accidentally send a message to the wrong person. Can't wait to see you, Stuart, hearty face. Whoa, did you just send that? That was not a good idea. Oops, fortunately, this is an easy fix. When you want to edit or unsend a message, just press and hold on the message and tap undo send or edit. Can't wait to see you, Nick. Who is Stuart? Uh oh. I knew you were lying. You're just like all the other guys. Mittens is dead. She died of a broken heart. No need to panic. You can delete that message. Press and hold and undo send. What do you mean, babe? I didn't send you any message. Must be a problem with the cell towers. I saw you delete it. He's right. The person who receives the message can see that you've unsent or edited your message. You fucking sack of And if the message is edited, they can see a history of the revisions. What's more, if they're running an older version of iOS, they'll see the original message in its entirety. I'm calling you. And if you have a lot of different special friends, keep in mind, iMessages can only be updated five times. Babe, I am so sorry. It was just an accident. He is nobody. You're the only one for me. Oh, hey, Stuart, I'll be right there.